U.S. Senators are pressuring Facebook to censor little old Clear Energy Alliance and other groups that think like us? Really? It appears Senators Elizabeth Warren and Sheldon Whitehouse are afraid we might persuade people to be more skeptical of the climate crisis narrative. Consequently, the Senators are intimidating Facebook into making sure that doesn't happen. Wait, what? We thought this was a country where people and organizations could freely express their point of view. Well, that may no longer be the case. You see, there's this thing about tyrants. They don't put up with dissent, no matter how much power they wield, nor how small those are who challenge that power. This would be a David versus Goliath story, but only if David was the size of a gnat. Case in point, a London-based climate change activist group called Influence Map put together a report on what they said were 51 climate disinformation ads that ran on Facebook in the first half of 2020. These ads were placed by such deplorables as Prager University, Texas Public Policy Foundation, the CO2 Coalition, Turning Point USA, Capital Research Center, and of course, little old Clear Energy Alliance, among others. Influence Map determined all of these groups spent a grand total of, wait for it, $42,000. Oh, the inhumanity. Let me put this in perspective. According to a 2013 report by Climate Policy Initiative, the world is spending $1 billion every day on tackling climate change. A big chunk of that money is just marketing, climate alarmists stoking fear. But that $42,000 spent on Facebook by groups skeptical of the climate alarmist narrative, that's what's dangerous. It is dangerous to Facebook. Senators Warren and White House have a lot of power and threaten to take action against Facebook if it didn't censor people like us. So, Facebook started the Climate Science Information Center to present a point of view pleasing to Warren and White House. Facebook employs so-called third-party fact-checkers that tag content as false or misleading if it strays from the climate crisis narrative. We've been hit with it. Our 97% myth video was tagged as false information, even though it's true. John Stossel had one of his videos slapped with the tag misleading and was told by Facebook it would show his video to fewer people. Stossel was targeted for censorship by a Facebook fact checker called Climate Feedback. He investigated and it appeared the so-called fact checkers hadn't even watched the video. They finally did, but even though there was nothing inaccurate about it, Stossel was told the label misleading would not be removed. Here's the deal. Our climate is extraordinarily complex. No matter what the confident alarmists say, there's no way to accurately separate man's small influence from giant natural forces like the sun, cloud formations, and ocean currents. We think it is possible fossil fuel generated carbon dioxide is having some impact on the climate, but if it is, it's likely to be a manageable problem. Lots of smart people agree with us. We use reliable data. You can check our sources. But people like Senators Warren and Whitehouse are pursuing a radical agenda and will not tolerate the slightest bit of nuanced argument. Not surprisingly, Facebook does not want to risk angering powerful members of the government who can cause the company great harm. We'll keep presenting our point of view, but Facebook is likely to call it misleading or false, which would be both misleading and false. For the Clear Energy Alliance, I'm Mark Mathis. Power on. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified when new Power On videos are released. And follow our social channels for more great energy content.